Collectibles here with yet another Hot Toys unboxing and review video. And today we'll take a look at Wonder Woman Deluxe Edition from the movie Wonder Woman. Guys, I want to give a huge shout out to my friend Fabio from Fast Figures because he was nice enough to send me this figure for this unboxing and review. But before we start, if you are new to the channel and you want to check out the latest Hot Toys releases, posting videos, and live streams, Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you don't miss anything. Alright guys, enough of the talking, let's start with the unboxing. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, and here we have the box. And as you can see, it is a huge, huge box with the Wonder Woman logo. This is the bottom, Wonder Woman 1984. And of course, we have the side of the box. I just want to show you one side because let me tell you guys, it is huge. It doesn't fit in my light box. And last but not least, this is the top Wonder Woman 1984. And of course, the back of the box with all the credits and warning small pieces. Do not eat it. Alright guys, so now I'm going to open this and show you the figure in the packaging. As you can see, we have the Wonder Woman here. We have a few hands. We have the beautiful figure with a shiny, shiny gold color. You can see Wonder Woman here in the packaging and of course the wings. Alright guys, so now what I'm going to do next is take everything out and take a closer look at the accessories. Alright guys, and here we have the accessories and yes, I'm going to divide it in two sections. So the first thing, the wings. So here we have the deluxe edition and as you can see guys, very nice paint application on these wings. Golden color, I love it. It is plastic though. It looks metallic, but no, it is plastic. So I kind of like that feature. Now this is one of them obviously the same exact as the other one and then we have the um i guess this is a holder so you can put the figure in here and it can kind of hold the weight of the wings so i can wait to show you when this is fully set up we have this uh dynamic pole so you can put this together as you can see here so let me just show you here it's a very nice design if you ask me then we have this little piece here that you can put actually in the back of the pole and this is so it can hold the weight of the wings because let me tell you guys once you put those wings on it is big it is big so i kind of like that and of course last but not least we have the retractable wings that can be used with the long wings as well so as you, as you can see a smaller version of course very nicely painted now this will fit on your detail so you have no issues whatsoever putting the figure inside the shelf the only problem is obviously if you have the um, expanded wings right you can move this up and down so that will give you the, a very nice effect very nice paint application and that's basically it all right guys so now let me show you the other accessories because yes we have the base and of course we have the helmet and the hands so let me start with the base here and as you can see, it looks actually pretty good. I love the design in the front. You can see Gal Gadot in the, in the middle with the Wonder Woman logo here. You have these lights, which obviously are not working because let me get, let me tell you guys, this is a reuse base and that's a bummer. Maybe some, uh, you know, batteries function. I don't know. But anyway, let's move on to the next accessory, which is the helmet. So it comes with two pieces. And let me tell you guys, I kind of like the design on this helmet. 
very nicely painted again very golden shiny color and i love it there's no weathering no scratches whatsoever you can see the underneath with these pads here so that will help uh or will prevent the head sculpt to get some scratches when you put the mask on now then we have this little piece here that goes underneath so this is to give you the illusion of the helmet fully uh you know put on the figure so kind of like it love the design as well very golden color all right guys so now let's move on to the other uh part of this which are the lasso of truth and as you can see we have two little pieces here so one is the lasso of truth all the, obviously you know in this in this shape but then we have this little piece here that will give you the illusion of the lasso of truth being used last but not least we have these two pairs of hands and that's all this figure comes with in terms of hands very nice sculpted you can see the fingers you can see the golden material and that's basically it all right guys so now let me show you the figure and here we have wonder woman guys and let me tell you she looks really good i really like the golden armor love the design and yes i kind of like the hand scope as well now let me get my tape and see how tall this figure actually is and she is about 12 inches tall all right so now let's take a closer look at the figure so we can take and appreciate all the details and here we have the head sculpt guys and let me tell you she looks really good i kind of like it now the rooted hair could be a problem because i'm not a fan of the rooted hair especially if it doesn't look that good right uh this one here looks okay in my opinion i mean i guess this is how you you get it out of the packaging but other than that you know i kind of like the head sculpt yes i think it's a bit bigger the head i don't know if it's just me but again you know nothing to complain about i kind of like it now you can see the detail on the armor as well now this is the other side and of course you can see the arms and this is like a weird pleather material so i would definitely not recommend to leave this figure with the with the arms bended because you know it might damage the suit over time especially if you leave it in a dynamic pose for a longer longer time now moving down to the armor here you can see a lot of details going on especially on the legs and the and the waist you can see this looking really good yes and now this is nasty trip you guys it is not the golden sea trip that we all we were waiting for but i'm very happy with the design you can see here that is um glued together in the suit so that might give you some uh, room to uh, articulate the figure you can see the bottom of the feet nicely done as well very shiny golden color and i love it you can see the side and of course the back of the figure and the pattern on this inside suit is actually pretty good i kind of like it now this is wonder woman's booty you can see the back you can see the hair here so let me just remove it because you can actually move or remove the piece in the middle so you can actually connect the wings and that's basically it all right guys so now for the articulation you can move the head up and down this much and to the sides this much not bad now for the arms you can lift it for about this much maybe some swivel here on the biceps you can move it forward for about this much and you can actually move this piece up and down as well so that will give you more range of motion you can bend the elbow for about this much and the classic brick articulation on the hand so really not bad on this area now for the waist you have just a little bit of ab crunch because of the armor and just a little bit of swivel so really not bad now for the legs you can do a split for about this much some swivel on the thighs you can lift it forward for about this much and back for about this much not bad you can bend the knee just like that and that's basically it and some swivel and pivot on the feet so maybe a bit limited but i guess it will do the job all right guys so now let me show you how to put the helmet on gal Gadot or wonder woman so the first step is you need to play around with the hair so you can move it all the way or you know to the back and then you put the first mask here so it will fit actually pretty good as you can see here so no issues whatsoever now the trick is when you actually put the helmet on her because again this is not magnetic this is just you just put it on the head that's the illusion it will give you right so now you're going to push this let me just kind of fix this real quick all right so now you're going to push the helmet like so so just kind of like be careful with this so you don't want to scratch 
the head scope so you just push it like so and move it a bit forward on the top and it will connect just fine on this first piece so looking really good all right guys so now let me show you the side looking awesome as well you can see the design on the helmet and especially the beautiful hair and this is the back i kind of you know kind of like the flow very natural in my opinion this is the side and of course the front all right guys so now let's do some comparison here i'm going to show you wonder woman and wonder woman from justice league and yes there's definitely an improvement on the head sculpt but i will say that the wonder woman on the left the one with the golden armor is a big bigger the head sculpt then we have batman here and as you can see obviously he's taller than her so they look pretty good together and last but certainly not least one of my favorites in my collection superman and yes he's short <laughs> all right guys enough with the comparison let's do some poses Alright guys, my final thoughts about this figure is actually very positive. Start with the likeness, I think this is a really good representation of Wonder Woman as seen in the movie. 
Now, this figure doesn't come with a lot of accessories, despite the fact that this is the deluxe version, you get the wings, but not too many options in hands, if you ask me, right? You have the Lasso of Truth, and of course, a very newly developed Hescope. Now, the only issue I have with this figure is the hair. I don't like it. For some reason, I don't like the hair. I think, you know, they, they had only one option to do this, I guess, because of the helmet. But other than that, I'm very happy with the articulation, the look of this figure, so definitely worth getting. And because of that, my final score is 9 out of 10. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Also guys, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Facebook group 6 Skill Media for anything related once the skull figures, both links in the description below. And if you have some time, check out these two cool videos. And as always, be well and see you around in the next video.